Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's another beautiful day in the kingdom of Denmark. The uh, sun is shining and the grass is growing and right now it's growing a little bit too much because um, well the lawnmower has decided that it's um, upside down again. So um, we're gonna go and have a look at that because uh, I replaced that batteries and put in a very good battery full of 18650s but um, as a lot of you pointed out the BMS was probably broken and as so I did actually order a new BMS for it even before the video was even up so all the suggestions that you gave me well I had already thought of that and I had already ordered it but as it takes quite a while to get in from China well it um, it takes quite a while to get in from China so let's go to the basement and play with this um, sometimes a lot of people think that oh well, you should just buy a new lawnmower this is a waste of time probably yes if you didn't if you don't enjoy playing with electronics and robots and soldering batteries together and stuff like that yeah you should get a new robot but I kind of like that so uh, for me um, it's a challenge even though I am getting a bit tired of mounting and unmounting that battery so I do hope this um, BMS will solve the problem for a while so we can get on to doing other stuff but basement so down here in the basement I have uh, cheated a little bit and I have opened the battery and I'll try and bring you up to speed and clean up some of the tools that are just uh, out of place here uh, I might need them but I like them to be at place so yeah I should have done that before shouldn't I yeah. voltage let's measure can you see that over there yeah it should be good I'll read it out loud to you anyway um the battery is at 25.22 volts I have been measuring all of the cells here but we'll just take a couple of them because we have a problem so first block here is 3.7 that's awesome the next one is 3.3 that's not as awesome next one 3.6 6 something okay ish next one 3.7 awesome next one 3.6 bit low and this one is 3.7 and this end one over here uh, 3.5 so it's not very well balanced and uh, with a balancer in there it shouldn't really be able to get that much out of sync I think this balancer is either broken or not very good either way it's broken it's good enough so that it protects the battery and has now shut it off because there is too much of a difference between the cells so right now the lawnmower won't run which is pretty irritating you know so we're gonna be putting in a new this new one that uh, came in from China so um, it's it looks a little bit different um, so yeah I, I have to figure out how that works it has um, another cable here it's a bit shorter than the one let's see this one has it has seven leads this one has eight leads so the the technical drawing for this is a little bit different so this BMS came from Aliexpress in uh, China uh, and here is the technical drawing for it and well it's it's actually decent I like this um, we have a lead here we have another lead there let's see this is the battery out here so that goes down to this and then we have our pack minus and B plus it works exactly the same way as this one where it, it cuts the negative the negative wire here uh, goes through the pack and, and over to the negative of the battery so if something is wrong it will cut that lead here so that to protect battery and equipment so between the negative and the negative on the battery we have all this BMS board to protect uh, the plus lead goes to the plus of the battery 
so that's pretty simple and it also goes to the plus of of the bms so it's the last minus of the battery that does not go to the bms it probably gets that from here somehow so we don't have to mount that so i will i'll take the battery i'll take the old bms off and we'll put this new one on i should be able to manage that even within a decent amount of time so apparently good glue so we will just remove the tape that holds everything together here so that i can unsolder this black wire which is the minus wire and we have this tiny little temperature sensor be careful not to break that i'm sure the robot is gonna stop if that is not connected i'm not sure actually i haven't tested that but uh, that would be a decent thing for it to do stop working battery sensor not responding cut work have to remember to get some more of this transparent tape next time Lidl has a good offer on it there and I have heated up the soldering iron so that should be good to go as we are also going to be removing all of these, I might as well do that right away. There, one side, it's done. Cut that off. The pack is free. So this uh, BMS is uh, supplied with some rather long cables, but uh, I don't want it to uh, become too short and I don't think it really matters It's just sensing some voltage here and if the voltage is, is too high too low Well, it will run a, a tiny little current through these wires and they will balance it out uh, Some of these components over here will uh, just be a nice resistor It could very well be that beefy thing there that could be a resistor and that's going to burn off some of the energy that is too much in a cell that uh, where the voltage is too high. So when that cell comes down, uh, the whole pack can then be charged up again. Um, apparently there are two different ways of balancing this. There is low balance and high balance and I am not sure which this is. If it, if it balances on high or on low. Um, I think most common is on high. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna mount this and according to the drawing here you can kind of see that I have this in the right way so I have to take this top wire here and I have to put that on the plus of the battery uh, the most plus um, there are two of those but isn't there no that's the minus so I have to put that on here okay so and I'm gonna unplug this cable before I do that because if something bad happens yeah I can probably go and visit Aliexpress webpage again to get another one first lead is on so now I just have to go plus minus plus minus and attach the rest of these well there's only six isn't there no there are seven but six left Okay, I have mounted this uh, minus lead down here. Goes to the minus of the battery, right there. Um, see, minus on the board, comes out there. Uh, that's a bit stiff up into the air. We're gonna fix that. And it goes down to the most minus on the battery, there. And then we have the plus lead, which is over here. 
that, that goes to the plus on the other side. But right now I'm I'm far enough so that I, I want to put some tape on here again because that's a... No, let's not do that just yet. I want some of the cells that are really low. Let's just push those up a little bit with the, with the power supply to make sure that this is uh, somewhat balanced before we start. Okay, so I've set my power supply to supply 3.75 volts. So um, this row of batteries in here is a little bit low and they are taking a nice charge of about 1.5 amps right now. So I'm very, hopefully it's not gonna take too long to get, it's about, well, this one is actually 400 milliamp hours too low compared to the other ones. So I'm hoping to um, to kind of get that up where it's it's okay. Okay, it's taking ever so slightly longer the, to charge up from those uh, 3.2 volts to 3.7 volts and I'm comfortable holding it in place. So right now I have I managed to get the crocodile thinkies here to, to grab it. Um, I'm gonna be trashing this one. I don't trust it anymore. These are really, it's, they're not that expensive. I'm just gonna trash this one. I've cut the wires of it. So uh, yeah, it's gonna go to the, to the bin. It went to the bin. Okay, so I have manually balanced this a little bit. So now all the rolls are within 3.6, 3.7 volts. They're within 0 0.1 volt. So I'm gonna be putting on the tape and we're gonna put this pack together and hope that uh, oh, it has improved. I'm gonna glue this to the top of it, just like the other one. So we have some glue gun. Give it a good squeeze in all the corners. Ow. It's, uh, it's really hard. There we are. And I glued my finger as well. So ready to put in the balancing leads. Uh, just wanted to make sure that the camera was on if this exploded. Hmm, no explosion. Let's wait for it. Nah. Okay, I guess we're good to go. Um, let's see if we have any power out here before we put this together. Let's see, that one is plus, that one is minus. We have 21 volts. That is way lower than expected. Where does that come from? So if I connect the positive lead to the positive out, that is connected directly to the battery. If we measure what comes from the battery, we are at 25.8 volts. If we measure what's going out, we're at 21.87 volts. Way lower. Crap, it looks like I have messed up. This wire was supposed to be there and that wire was supposed to be there. Be right back. Switch those two around. Um, yeah, that wasn't too lucky. You're not supposed to do that. Um, I don't know how I missed that off. So, but now if we measure the output voltage, the minus and the plus, and the meter is, well, we get about right. Oh yeah, I knew I was missing something. Hmm. The pack is all together and I'm hoping the LED will go on just fine here. Um, this battery is a tiny bit bigger than the old one. Oh yeah, by the way, for new guys, uh, the water from the basement goes into this fish pond. And it's so leaking, it, it's leaking so much that I have this theory that I'm just, it's just going around and around and around. But never mind that. So let's put the back up. battery back in. There. And I don't wanna I don't wanna overdo these so I I don't want to. I don't want it to mow the lawn right now. Uh, when it was that much out of balance, I wanted to go charge. 
so we'll see if it stops and it does that's so nice there. and we can tell it to go to the charger there close windows to go to the charger grass along the way. usually help it because sometimes it doesn't get up there right so in the display I should be able to see how charged this is it's 69% or is it 50 I think it's 59 oh it's 69% okay it will be charging for quite a bit I hope uh, so yeah I think we'll cut in when it's um, good to go for a run Okay, the robot has been charging for a couple of hours and um, and Morden has become impatient. The grass is growing out here, so um, even though it's not fully charged yet, we are gonna start it up. Let's see, it's at, it's at 70%. So if we press this, it will go to 100%, which is of course not true, but when we close it, it will start. be cutting the grass and um, I'll let it cut grass for an hour or so and after that oh don't go that way yeah okay you stupid okay yeah I really the robot vacuum cleaner is so much smarter than this uh, robot lawnmower so, yeah oh the windmill is kind of turning around nicely up there that's the sun okay probably not a good idea to point the camera at the sun but yeah the windmill is producing power for the robot lawnmower um, should we go see that we could just we haven't seen that for ages. There is the setup for powering the robot. Um, this wire, which is a, it's a three-phase wire that comes up from the windmill, and then it's rectified in this three-phase rectifier, and it becomes plus and minus for the charge controller, parallel with the solar panel up there, and that charges this battery, which is a very nice, big, beefy 12-volt car battery, truck battery, whatever. From that charge controller, it powers over to this step-up converter that uh, changes the 12 volts into 31.1 volts. That's it's a weird number, but uh, that's the voltage that is going out to the charging station out there. And it's it's on the low side. I don't like it very much. It's too high um, for really charging these lithium-ion batteries, but. Yeah, if I if I turn it down much more, the battery will never reach a hundred percent out there. So yeah, that's uh, that's how that works right now. And there is the 50 watt solar panel. Uh, well, I'm guessing that that one produces way the most of the power for the for the robot. Um, but right now the windmill is actually turning rather quickly. So yeah, maybe sometimes it does something. And the robot is working again let's see for how long Oop. what did you do now okay fix the robot again I hope I um, hope I don't have to do this every week it, uh, it ran for like 14 days and then it stopped and I think that it might have been that BMS that was just crap yeah let's see 
thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day where did you go little robot there you are bye bye